Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been since October or November since I last filmed a video and I'm not even showing my face, but um, today I thought I would do a video that actually, I don't know, a video like kind of videos that I've been watching a lot regarding like iPads and what's on my iPad, educational purposes. Um, so this is my iPad Pro 11 inch. I have a case on it. I have the space gray version, which is why it's all like dark and all. Uh, I got this case from Amazon. So I've had this for around a year, almost a year. I got it for my birthday last year, um, around June. And I've been using it nonstop, mostly due to school. And I think I have like this to um, blame for my, or not blame, I have this because it really helped me with my educational um, purposes. Um, with like making notes and all that, um, keeping organized, iPad really helped me a lot. When I did post on Instagram, I don't have Instagram anymore, um, a lot of people asked me what kind of apps I used back in the day and I thought I would do this video because um, I find these videos kind of, kind of helpful. Um, before I get into my iPad, I'll talk about the accessories I have. So I have this um, black folio case. Um, I just got it from Amazon, it's probably like the first thing you find if you search up iPad Pro case. I'll leave everything linked down below anyways. Um, I have an Apple Pencil. This helps me write because I don't think you can really write with your finger. Basically, I mean, when I gave back my old MacBook Air, um, I got like $200, um, $230 back in store credit, so I used that to get um, this Apple Pencil, which is pretty expensive, but um, you can't really write without it. Um, you can get like a Logitech version of it, um, which would be a lot cheaper. I don't know how that works, but I don't know. Sometimes, you know, Apple's all like, you need to have Apple stuff for it to work. Other accessories I have, um, I had leftover store credit on that gift card. So I got this little carrying case because, you know, just having this isn't really gonna protect anything. Um, I got this, they sold this on the Apple website. And this one's pretty cool. I forget what the brand is, Native Union, I guess, is the brand name. But it's not like the regular zipper case. It's a magnetic one, so it closes magnet magnetically. So it's just easy to access it, like easy to go in and out of getting your items. Cause I have a bunch of stuff in my backpack. So sometimes it's just hard to you know, be zipping through everything. And um, I don't really like typing on an iPad. So I have this separate keyboard I got it from Logitech. Um, mostly got it because of this, this really cute pink color. It's like soft touch, so it doesn't really make that much sounds if you type on it. And it connects Bluetooth. Um, you can use this for your iPad, your phone, whatever, but of course I mostly use it for iPad. And it's really thin. So everything, both of this fits into my little case, which makes it really convenient. Um, the only thing is that sometimes, oops, the only thing is sometimes like it feels kind of weird typing on this because it's not really like substantial. So, oh yeah, I forgot. So the little case I have, is like the silicone grip cover um, for your pencil because sometimes, you know, writing for a long time, it can hurt. So I have this little cover on here. I got it from Amazon. It came with two. I had a pink one and um, now I'm using this blue one because the pink one, I guess I had it on for so long that it wouldn't like line up with this flat edge part on here, if that makes sense. But yeah, so let's just get started on what's on my iPad. So this is my cover. Um, it's from Puny Melt because I'm a patron of hers. So uh, like every month you get a cute little um, calendar wallpaper, which I use all the time. And it's at the 1st of March. So I mostly use my iPad for um, like my education. I don't really have much stuff for like leisurely things, um, even though I do have an unproductivity folder. Mostly this is for school. So on the first home page, I don't really use this page that often. Um, I have like the calendar just to show me the date. FaceTime, I rarely use FaceTime on here. Settings and other stuff, like other junk that um, you can't really delete on an iPad. Um, cal uh, calculator, I have this app because iPads don't have a calculator um, app built in. But you know, I don't know why they wouldn't have a built-in calculator app on an iPad. 
So this is the page I mostly use. Like this is all I really have. I try to keep things organized and you know, I don't like seeing everything like all over the place. I like putting things in folders. So that's why this is like all I really have. Um, this shortcuts app, I've never used this. So I don't really know what it is, but here's my um, non-educational folder. I have it called on productivity, productivity. I have YouTube, which is what I mostly use. Um, I don't know, watching videos on here is just really nice. So you can see like the kinds of videos I've been watching lately. Like I know I don't upload on YouTube as much anymore, but I still watch it pretty much every day. All right, so I have Netflix. I do watch Netflix um, quite a bit on my iPad um, rather than my phone these days. So like the stuff I've been watching on um, Netflix, Let's see, I've been watching The Chef Show, which is like basically my favorite, and I've started You. I haven't finished season two yet, so don't spoil it for me. I have read it because I go on Reddit quite a bit, but once I come back and do like an actual talking video, I'll explain something about Reddit, which is like the reason why I kind of stopped making videos for a while. But yeah, I, watch, um, I go on Reddit quite a bit, especially on my phone. But you know, sometimes I just keep up with the news on Reddit rather than like Twitter. I have Spotify, I use Spotify all the time. Um, I don't really use Spotify on my iPad. Um, maybe if like when I'm studying, I need some music or something to listen to, but I usually listen to Spotify on my phone. I still listen to a bunch of music, but also I've been listening to a bunch of podcasts. I don't know why that happened. So I know um, Christine from Simply Nail Logical recently made a podcast. I haven't finished this one yet, so I've been uh, listening to hers, listen to MKBHD's um, podcast as well, and I listen to Conan's. Conan needs a friend. Um, so yeah, podcast is something I've been, I mean, listening to a, a lot more rather than music these days, even though I still listen to music. I have Crunchyroll, but I don't really go on Crunchyroll um, that often. I haven't even been watching a bunch of animes lately, so if you want to recommend me some anime, I would appreciate it, but I hope I don't really know if I have much time to watch any anime. I have this YouTube studio app. I had that when I was still um, making videos. I have not gone on it at all since. I have the VLive app. If you're like a K-pop fan, you probably know what this is, but um, I usually watch it on my phone rather than on my iPad, but I just have it here just in case. So basically it's like uh, K-pop idols go on here and upload videos or live stream. I mostly watch it for live stream. So like these are the four I follow these days. I don't really follow anyone else. <laughs> so that's like all my uh, non or my leisurely apps I have on my iPad. I have other stuff, but then most of the um, apps I have, the rest of the apps I have are gonna be mostly productive apps. So this is um, most of the apps I use for school. Um, GoodNotes is the app that I use to write my notes. So I have my weekly planner on here. Um, I have other stuff. You're probably wondering why I'm taking pre-calc, but it's mostly just as a refresher before I take calculus because I haven't taken pre-calc in a long time. So this is like all my uh, stuff. I had other things on here, but I deleted them because it's like been a year since I used it. Like I had stuff from summer 2019, but I'm not taking any of that, those classes anymore. So I just deleted them. But this is like all the stuff I'm pretty much using. So I have like a folder for the classes I'm taking for spring. I also am taking other classes elsewhere, so it's like, I, if you guys don't know, I've been really busy due to my dental program. That's why I haven't really been uploading um, since last October, but um, now I kind of have like more time. And so in addition to like these classes I'm taking for dental, I'm also taking other classes um, elsewhere just to, you know, not to utilize my time. So these are all the stuff I have. I have things in folders and I have different like little covers on them which is really nice. So this is like the stuff I use, um, or this is my notebook for this class. Um, I would say my notes are pretty neat I guess. Um, if you want me to do a video on how I write notes and all that, I can do that. But this is pretty much it. I mostly like using GoodNotes because um, you know they have like nice themes, layouts, and uh, when I was using like the white background, like the highlighter here was really useful because it would go like, here I'll show you, like 
it would go behind the text rather than um, in front, which is what I know um, Notability does. So like it looks like kind of foggy like that, but on Good Notes it doesn't. If that makes any sense, um, I'm not sure if Good Notes you can um, or not Good Notes Notability you can bring other um, templates onto here, but that's what I use for um, Good Notes. So like this weekly planner template I got from Janice Studies, which is what I've been watching a lot and pretty much her videos helped me a lot with how I study and keep organized on my iPad and also like this really dark, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a really dark graph paper, which is what I use for um, my notes because the, as you can see, the one that Good Notes has is like just gray and I wanted it to be darker and she made like a darker um, template for that. So that's what I've been using. I also use like her Cornell Notes style um, template, which is really nice. So yeah, I can always do a better video on how I study. Probably I will do that because that's all I've been really doing these days. Not really much anything makeup related. This over app, I use that to make the titles for um, notes, if you can see. Sometimes I'll write it if I'm too lazy. Other times I'll... Um, like this one, I wrote that one myself, but other times I have like printed it or used over to make the font. So like here I did made a font from over to use that as my, um, you know, header. If I want things to look neat, other times I'm really lazy and I'll just like write it out myself, but it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, like my notes last semester looks so much nicer than my notes now. Like I drew this all in that, but yeah. That's pretty much all I use for that. Khan Academy, if you guys are probably like familiar with Khan Academy, um, it's just like videos or lessons to help you better understand a certain topic in school. I haven't really been using it these days, but I have it here just in case. I mostly use this in high school, which really helped me. You know, if you really have, if you're struggling with understanding some topics in school, um, Khan Academy, I really recommend. I use this mostly in um, physics, back in high school, um, so that really helped me out. But I'll probably have to use this again when I have to take a calculus class, even though I've been trying to avoid taking calculus for the longest time ever. Quizlet, I have this to make flashcards. Quizlet really helps me out, um, so I've been using it for studying certain topics and before a big test. Uh, I'll use Quizlet. I'll also use like make a spreadsheet to do like an active recall sort of thing to study, but mostly I'll use um, Quizlet for that. If you don't know what this is, this is Canvas. It's like an app that all most schools use, especially for like online classes or um, t professors will post like the grades or files for you to download onto Canvas. So I'm not gonna open that up, but, um, but I'm sure you guys are know what Canvas is. EDX, this is like a website. You can take the classes online um, all sorts of classes um, on di on different topics and these are like actual like college leveled classes so you can do like business computer science humanities languages all this kind of stuff and if you pay you can actually get college credit for these classes I don't really know how that works but um, but yeah I'm just using this to refresh on pre-calculus because um, I honestly I'll tell you in high school I ditched this class all the time or I fell asleep all the time but I passed with a B, but I don't even remember any how, like, how I did this. It's been years since I last took a math class. So yeah, this is like all the apps I use for that, or productivity. I have a separate books app, or books folder, for like ebooks. So I use Manga Storm as a way to read um, manga. So the only re um, manga I've been reading is um, Attack on Titan but I haven't caught up in a while, but I'm only like maybe four chapters behind. Um, but it's really, it's really easy. But yeah, that's what I use for reading manga. I have um, Adobe Acrobat for my online textbooks and also like p other PDF. I use this mostly as my PDF opener, but I have some textbooks on here. But yeah, I usually like using Acrobat more than, um, you know, books off of Apple. But I do have some eBooks that I um, bought on here before I realized there was like a different app from my local library where you can read ebooks for free. So yeah, so that's 
Libby and Cloud Library. I don't think Libby works anymore with my um, local library, but I've been using Cloud Library, which is cool because you can um, just log in onto your uh, local library account if you have a if you have a library card, and then you could borrow all these books um, that are available as an ebook. They also have audiobooks, which is cool. But it's been really convenient for me because I, I always forget to return books on time. So um, luckily with this, if a book is due, it'll automatically just like, you know, take it off of your account. Goodreads is a like a book reviewing app. Um, I just usually look this uh, find books like that are kind of in my interest. Um, but yeah, I don't really post any reviews on here. Um, I just use this as a way to like look at what's good and new. So that's my books folder. Um, I have like Twitch stuff. I have Twitch on here, Discord and Screen Link, which is like an Elgato app, but I don't really Twitch stream anymore because I realize it's way too hard. Procreate is like the art drawing app on iPad. Like a lot of people use this. I pretty much use this. Um, I tried drawing like a Gretsuko um, and a Haida, like in real life kind of thing, if there are people. But last time I used this, I used this to um, for my like disease project I had to do. So it's cool because it records like you every single stroke you do. But yeah, I know a lot of like professional artists like using Procreate. A lot of the artists I follow use Procreate. This is my Google Calendar app. This is how I mostly. Um, you know, keep track of my life. I don't really use the calendar app um, from Apple. I like using Google Calendar because it shows up on um, my phone, everywhere. Because I mostly use Google stuff. So this is my schedule for today. As you can see, my schedule for um, this semester isn't as bad as before. Like here, I'll show you why I could not do anything back in the day or a couple months ago. Yeah, this was like my schedule last semester. It was like pretty jam-packed, barely got any sleep, and that's why I couldn't really um, do much filming. But then now it's pretty much a lot easier. I have some time. See, not as bad, even though I'm like doing clinical all day. I just think it everything looks neat and nice. I like using Google Calendar. I have um, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Drive, Word. I don't really use Word on here, but I have it just in case. Mostly use Google Docs and Google Sheets. I have Adobe Scan, which helps you like scan documents because I mean, I do have a scanner, but I don't really like using it because it's like too much work. So Adobe Scan is really um, useful for scanning documents if you don't have a scanner. Vectornator, I don't use this as often as before, but I used it to make like um, for my apps or for good notes. I wanted it to look like a post-it note, so I made something that looks kind of like a post-it note. Um, because people do these kinds of post-it templates and all that, but you have to pay for it. So I was like, fuck that, I'm gonna just go ahead and make my own. So I have that, but I don't really do that anymore since I use like the dark theme. And I have Patreon because I, I told you I am a patron of Puny Melt, which is where I got my little um, calendar wallpaper from. But I've been following this artist for a long time. So that's pretty much my um, iPad, everything I use on it. Hopefully it was helpful. But yeah, I know iPads are pretty expensive. Um, I have iPad Pro, which is like the most expensive one they have. They have other ones um, that are cheaper, but honestly, if you're like a, an upcoming college student or if you're a college student about to get a laptop, I would actually recommend getting an iPad instead because I honestly, ever since I got my iPad, I don't really touch my laptop anymore because I can do everything on here. It's really convenient. I can do all my notes, um, saving paper, saving the environment, all that. So I really love an iPad. I forgot to mention, I do have this screen protector on here that's a matte texture and it's also like kind of gritty. So it, when you use your pencil, I don't know if you can hear, but it sounds like a, a, an actual pencil writing on paper. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, sorry for like the long time, no video. It's been five months since I last uploaded a video, but hopefully this will make up for everything and hopefully I can make more videos in the future. So yeah, that's it for today's video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of me, you cannot find me on Instagram because I'm not on Instagram anymore. But you can find me on Twitter and Spotify. I'll have those linked down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!